Hello friends, this bone is called scapula or shoulder blade. It is a flat bone and triangular in outline. It consists of four parts, a body and three processes. The processes are spinous process, acromion process and coracoid process. So let's discuss about the body. The body is triangular in outline. It's a very thin bone. It has got two surfaces. One is the coastal surface and one is dorsal. Here in this scapula, this is the coastal surface and this is the dorsal surface. There are three borders, superior border, lateral border and medial border. And three angles, inferior angle, superior angle and lateral angle. Lateral. In the dorsal surface, we can view shelf-like projection on the upper part. This is the dorsal surface and this is shelf-like projection. This is called a spinous process. The lateral angle is here truncated. This is the lateral angle. It is truncated to form an articular surface, the glenoid cavity. The lateral angle is thickened and we can call here the head of scapula. Now, we would learn how to hold this bone in the correct anatomical position. The glenoid cavity, this is the glenoid cavity. Here the glenoid cavity should face laterally forward and slightly upwards, nearly 45 degree to the coronal plane. This is the coracoid process. It should be directed forward. Spinous process should be directed posteriorly, holding in the correct anatomical position. This is actually correct position of scapula in our body. Now we will discuss the surfaces. The surfaces of the body are coastal surface and dorsal surface. The coastal surface is concave and is directed medially and slightly forwards. It presents three to four longitudinal ridges. We can see here these are the longitudinal ridges it provides attachment to the intermuscular tendons of subscapularis muscle subscapularis muscle arises or originates from the medial two-third of subscapular fossa this is the subscapular fossa and medial two-third gives the origin for Subscapular is missing. Along the medial border, the latest anterior muscle is inserted in the medial border and up to the inferior angle. Now going to the dorsal surface. The dorsal surface is convex and presents a shelf-like projection called as spinous process. The spinous process divides the dorsal surface into two parts, supraspinous fossa and infraspinous fossa. This is the spinoglenoid notch. The supraspinous fossa gives origin to the supraspinatus muscle in its medial two-third and infraspinous fossa gives origin to the infraspinatus muscle in its medial two-third. Minor muscle arises from the upper two-third of dorsal surface along the lateral border. This is the lateral border. Upper two-third gives origin to the teres minor muscle and lower one-third gives origin to the teres major muscle. The latissimus dorsi also arises from the dorsal surface near the inferior angle. Now we will discuss the borders of the scapula, the superior border. The superior border presents suprascapular notch. This is called suprascapular notch and is present near the root of coracoid process. This is coracoid process presented near the root of coracoid process. The suprascapular notch is converted into suprascapular foramen by a superior transverse ligament like this. Above this ligament, suprascapular artery passes and below the ligament, suprascapular nerve. The inferior belly of omohyoid arises from the superior border near the suprascapular notch. gives the origin for inferior belly of homohyoid. Now the lateral border. This is the lateral border. In the upper end, the lateral border presents infraglenoid tubercle. This tubercle gives origin for the long head of triceps. The medial border. It extends from the superior angle up to the inferior angle. The serratus anterior muscle is inserted at the coastal surface of medial border. This is the coastal surface and medial border gives insertion for serratus anterior muscle. Whereas on the dorsal aspect, 
it gives insertion to the levator scapulae muscle. The rhomboidus minor muscle is inserted on the dorsal aspect of medial border near the root of spine and rhomboidus major muscle is inserted on the dorsal aspect of medial border from the root of spine to inferior angle like this. Now we have completed the discussion about the body of the scapula. We would discuss here processes. First we would discuss about the acromion process. This is the acromion process. It has got a tip to borders, medial border and lateral border and two surfaces superior surface and inferior surface. The medial and lateral border of acromion continue with the upper and lower lips of crest of spine that is medial border continues with the upper lip of crest of spine and lateral border with the low crest of spine the lateral border of acromion this is the lateral border of acromion process it gives origin to the intermediate fibers of deltoid muscle the coracoacromion ligament is attached to the tip of acromion as we have discussed now the spinous process, this is the spinous process. This is a triangular shelf like projection on the dorsal aspect of the body of scapula dividing the dorsal surface into supraspinous fossa and infraspinous fossa. The spinous process has got two surfaces, the superior surface and the inferior surface and three borders, anterior border, posterior border and lateral border. Near the lateral border it forms a spinoglenoid notch. This is the spinoglenoid notch correlating with the spinous process and glenoid cavity spinoglenoid notch. Through this notch suprascapular nerve and vessels passes from the supraspinous fossa to the infraspinous fossa. The third process is called coracoid process. The coracoid process provides attachment to three muscles short head of biceps brachii, coracobrachialis, pluralis minor muscle. The short head of biceps brachii and coracobrachialis together arise from the tip of coracoid process by a common tendon. The pectoralis minor muscle is inserted on the medial border of upper surface and coracoacromial ligament is attached to its lateral border. The conoid and trapezoid part of coracoclavicular ligament is attached on the ridge on its superior surface. 